early Vedic period. Aryans, meaning noble, were a semi-nomadic tribe who probably came from Central Asia over a long period of time. They lived with the existing people. There was, as a result, a mixing of languages and ways of life after the decline of Indus Valley civilization. Thus, Vedic culture came up slowly which is reflected in Vedas. Initially, the Rig Veda was not in written form but was passed on orally. Knowledge passed on in this way was known as Shruti. The Vedic teachers took great care to teach students to pronounce words and memorize hymns correctly. At the time of Aryan entry into India, Indus Valley cities gave a deserted look to inhabitants and migrants. This would seem to confirm the archaeological evidence that the cities were destroyed and not occupied by the newcomer Aryans. They regarded the cities as places of evil and avoided them. But the Aryans did destroy a number of Indus Valley cities. The Aryans had given up their nomadic habit and lived in fixed dwelling houses which were made of wood and bamboo. Within these homes, the Aryans developed a healthy family life. Trivia The Saraswati River is one of the chief Rig Vedic rivers mentioned in the ancient Hindu texts. The Nadi Stuti hymn in the Rig Veda 10.75 mentions the Saraswati between the Yamuna in the east and Satluj in the west. And later Vedic texts like Tandya and Jaiminiya Brahmans as well as the Mahabharata mention that the Saraswati dried up in a desert. The goddess Saraswati was originally a personification of this river but later developed an independent identity and meaning. Geographical Extinct of Early Aryan Settlements The Vedic hymns reveal the initial settlements in India. Western tributaries of Indus, the Gomti, modern Gomal, the Krumu, modern Kurram, and Kuba, modern Kabul. The one river mentioned in the north of Kabul is Suvestu, modern Swat. But the main focus of the Rig Veda settlements is the Punjab and Delhi, that is, the regions between the most frequently mentioned rivers, Sindhu, Indus, the Saraswati, dried up, the Drastvati, modern Chautung River, the five rivers of Punjab and Yamuna. The later Vedic literature shows that the Aryans knew the two seas, the Himalayas, the Vindhyan mountains and generally the entire Indo-Gangetic plain. Beside geographical location, it also gives us information about social, political, economic and religious life of those people who lived during the Rig Vedic age. Rig Veda speaks of the famous tribe Bharata and its wars against other tribes. Bharata played an important role and was in majority. Hence, the country Bharat has been named after it. Political Life The Aryans lived in several tribes called Janas. A group of families formed a clan or Vish and several Vish together formed a Jana. Generally, the tribes lived in villages called Grama. It is probable that the Aryans with their superior language and technology of weaponry had imposed their own style of culture on the earlier settlers. The Vedas mention Dasas who were non-Aryan tribes. The tribal chief of Bharata was called Rajan. He led his people during war and protected them in times of peace. The Sabha assembly of noble elders Military head and chief priest, Purohit, advised and assisted Rajan. He was responsible for maintaining law and order and to lead his tribe to victory. The people gave voluntary donation of Bali tax to the Rajan for the services rendered by him. 
social life. People lived in a small unit called Kula, which were associated with the schools of Vedic Rishis. Eldest male member was called Grihapati, whose decisions were binding on all and were strictly followed. Women were educated and allowed to attend religious assemblies. Some of them have also contributed in the formation of Vedas. Veda means known knowledge. Women also looked after the children and household management. Society was divided into four main Varnas or type of occupations. Varna meant colour of skin. Brahmans Brahmans were those who looked after all religious matters. They also had ashrams to educate people. Kshatriyas Kshatriyas were those who ruled and defended the kingdom, the warrior class of the society. Vaishyas They were traders, cultivators and artisans. Shudras or Dasas They were generally native of India and their skin colour was dark. They carried out the traditional work such as pottery making, metal work, carpentry etc. Marriage of boys and girls took place with the consent of parents. People presented gifts to a newly wed couple. Occupations Aryans came as pastoral nomads, that is, they kept large herds of cattle, which was their means of livelihood. Gradually, they started agriculture and began to settle down permanently in villages. By the time of Satapatha Brahman, Aryans had begun to produce wheat, rice, barley, etc. The cow was central to their lives. It was also a unit of barter. Rig Veda mentions craftsmen such as carpenters, potters, chariot makers, weavers, leather and metal workers. Trading flourished through bartering. Religion The Aryans were great worshippers of nature. They worshipped the forces of nature like Prithvi, Earth, Agni, Fire, Indra, Rain, Vayu, Wind, Surya, Sun, Varun, Water, etc. The Rig Vedic Aryans did not worship idols. There were no rituals and sacrifices. They performed yagnas and chanted hymns in praise of their gods and sought their blessings. Amusements People entertained themselves by participating in chariot racing, hunting, wrestling and gambling. They enjoyed music, dance and played flute, drum and other musical instruments such as veena. 1000 BCE to 600 BCE Three other Vedas appeared during this period such as Samved, musical hymns and their way of chanting. Yajur Veda, it contains hymns describing the ways of sacrifices and rituals to be performed. Atharva Veda, it has got different kinds of hymns, chanting of which can cure diseases, dispel dangers and some tantric rituals. Epics, the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. Epic means a long story in the form of a poem. The Vedic supplementaries and philosophical compositions, the Brahman, Aranyaka and Upanishads were composed during this period. The Upanishads emphasized the need for understanding the true relationship between Atma and Paramatma or Brahma, the Supreme God. The events of Ramayana are related to Central India and that of South India. Mahabharata is the story about the great war between the tribes. The Mahabharata included the Bhagavad Gita, which contains the essence of Hindu philosophy, the Karma Yoga.